Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey there, guys. So in the last episode, we taught you guys how to do uh, things with controllers, how to uh, display a view, and how to make sure that you are using your routes effectively. Um, in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to create a template. Um, and that template will be able to uh, be the same, but will yield different content depending on what the route is. Um, and I'll explain that as we go along. Um, I know that's a little bit confusing uh, to understand uh, now, but we'll, we'll go ahead and get to that. So let's dive right in. All right, so let's see here. We will go to our index.blade.php file. And as you already know, um, having styles inside of your style sheet um, or inside of your, your HTML, it's not usually good. Um, you want to link that into, uh, you know, an external style sheet. Um, so let's just go ahead and delete that, clear some things up. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of these fonts and we will uh, still keep the meta and we'll keep the language because that's good. Um, we do not need the if route has the login, any of that, because we're not going to create a login. That's going to be in the next project. And we don't need all of these links here. Um, so that seems to be uh, pretty, uh, pretty basic, right? Um, but let's go ahead and extrapolate this out a little bit and make it so that it can be uh, a little bit more dynamic. So inside of our views folder, we're going to create a new folder called layouts. And then we are going to create a new layout called um, app.blade.php. We're going to go ahead and go to our index fol uh, file. We're going to go ahead and copy all of this into our app.blade.php. And we're going to do a few things. Um, so this hello world is going to be specific for the index.blade.php file. Okay. The title is also going to be specific for the index.blade.php uh, uh, file as well. So what we want to do is we want to actually um, use the uh, yield and section uh, blade directives. Um, and you can look more, uh, you can look at that uh, with Laravel, Laravel blade directives. Okay, you can look at uh, the blade templates, right? Um, so let's take a look at, where is it? Defining a layout, okay? So here it is. It says, uh, this is a pretty good one here. So the app name, right? And then it will yield a title and it'll have the section of sidebar. And then it'll also have uh, yield content, right? So uh, let's go ahead and implement this into our site. So we're going to call this a uh, static site because that's what it is. We'll put a dash and then we'll type at yield. And that yield will be title, right? Um, I'm going to change this from HTML to Laravel blade, Laravel blade. There we go. Save that. And we'll also go ahead and cut this and we'll type in at yield content and we'll save that as well and now in our index.blade.php file we can delete all of this right this is going to be crazy so what we want to do is we want to extend again hold on one second we have to create uh, make sure that this is Laravel blade so we want to extend or extends I think it's extends Yes, extends, that's what I thought. Extends, and then remember, we have a folder. The app.blade.php file is in a folder, so it's gonna be layouts.app. 
and we will save this. We will go back and refresh, and it's blank, which is to be expected because there is no content and there is no title. If you see up here in the top left hand corner, it just says static site dash and then nothing. So we have to define the title and we have to define the content inside of our index.blade.php file. So the title we're going to go ahead and do in a simple section, okay? And we're going to say this is the title section. Now, you can do this of one of two ways. You can you can do it like this and just say um uh home page, right? Save it and go back and refresh. And now it just says home page here. But we can get rid of these two lines of code. So let's go ahead and just put it all in one line. And we're just going to say home page. And this is very um, efficient because we're not passing in a lot of content here. We're only passing in one word or a couple of words. Um, as a second parameter inside of this section function and it's just going to save and refresh and it's still displaying the same exact thing. So let's also define a section for content and we'll do this the second way and section and remember how we cut the hello world out? Let's go ahead and paste that back in and we will save it and we'll go back and we'll refresh and it says hello world wonderful but what happened to the formatting well that's because we haven't included bootstrap or uh any type of google fonts or anything like that so let's go ahead and do that now we'll go to getbootstrap.com and we will uh, go to the documentation, and the quick way to do it is use the CSS CDN, and we'll copy that. We'll go back to our app.blade.php, paste that in, and we will go to our JS, right, JavaScript, and we'll go right before the body ends, and we'll paste that in, paste that in. And we'll save that. And now, if we go back, we'll refresh. Now we have Bootstrap. Wonderful. So, there's a few things I want to change in here. Uh, the first being, I don't want this or this, but I still want the content, right? But I want to put, whoops, I want to. Ah, Darn it. There we go. I want to put the content inside of uh, a row. And inside this row, I want it to be column uh, small 12. And I also want this to be inside of a container. Awesome. 12. Boom. Now we'll go ahead and yield the content. And we'll go back, save it, wonderful. Now we have these little margins on the right and left hand side. I know you can't see it on the right hand side, but you can see it on the left. So what we will also do is we will uh, create a navigation bar. So let's grab a navigation bar. Navs, navs, right? Yes, navigation bar. And we can, or navigate. There we go. Navbar. And we'll grab the simple one. Where is it? I'm looking, looking, looking. Yeah, we'll just take this one here up at the very, very top and we'll go ahead and uh, do some stuff with it. Okay. So this time. We are going to include the uh, 
partial. Okay, and I'm going to teach you guys about partials. Partials underscore a uh, dot underscore sidebar. And this is really interesting and, and awesome. Uh, and so we'll create a new view or we'll create a new folder inside of our views views folder and we'll call it partials. And inside of that, we'll create a new file called sidebar underscore sidebar dot blade dot PHP. And we'll go ahead and paste that sidebar that we just copied from the website over into there and we'll save it. We'll refresh. And now we have a sidebar. Um, and this just extrapolates out um, all of this code out of our app.blade.php because we want very little code inside of our app.blade.php. We want this to be a very modular thing. So how can we even make this uh, even more modular? Well, we can create a style sheets partial, right? And we can also create a scripts partial. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll create a new file and we'll just call this style sheets dot blade dot PHP uh, underscore. And the reason we put it as an underscore is so that we know that it's a partial. And we'll also grab this and we'll include partials dot underscore style sheets. Save that. Paste that in there. Close that. And we will create another one. Same thing for uh, the scripts. Save that. Go to our partials underscore scripts dot blade dot PHP. Paste that in there. Let's also add some comments in here too. Um, this is going to be for our bootstrap JS. And let's go back into our, whoops, let's go back into our style sheets. And this is going to be a bootstrap CSS. And now we can go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And save it. And we'll refresh. And note, nothing has changed. Awesome. So that means we did everything correct. And now we can go to our sidebar. And we can format this a little bit differently. Uh, we'll go ahead and create the spaces as two, or I mean as four, and we'll get rid of some stuff. So we have nav bar up here. We're just going to call this static site. Okay, this is going to be the title uh, right here. Uh, and we will also uh, make sure that the A, where is it? A nav bar, everything inside of the nav bar can be indented, and then that can be indented, that can be indented, this can be indented here, and then div, where's the end? There it is, cool. So we can go ahead and put that there. Here's the UL, everything inside of the UL, and we will enter that. And we actually don't even need this search bar, so we'll go ahead and just delete that. And let's see, here's the li, Post, uh, put that in there, put that in there, there, and here's a div box, wonderful. And this is for the drop down menu. Uh, we don't need a drop down menu either, so let's just go ahead and get rid of this. And uh, we also, uh, yeah, so. Don't need that span in there either. And we'll save that. And let's refresh and see what it looks like now. Wonderful. Okay, cool. So we have a few links, which are cool. Um, notice that this is active, right? So if we get rid of this active and save it and refresh, uh, it's not going to be uh, highlighted. Um, but we'll take care of that um, at a later video. Uh, but this looks like a good nav bar for right now. And let's see here. I think that's about it. Oh, yes, there's one other thing I wanted to do. Um, so every once in a while, you're going to need to have page specific style sheets. And you want to include these page specific style sheets inside of the 
inside of the index.blade.php file. So inside the actual page content. So if we have like a, a page specific style sheet, uh, we'll have a section called style sheets. Okay. And in this section, we will have a style tag and that style tag will have a type of text slash CSS and say we'll have a body, um, body, let's just go ahead and do background uh, black. And we want this whole background to turn black, but we only want it for that specific page, right? So we have to go back to our app.blade.php and after our partials dot underscore style sheets, we want to at yield style sheets. And we'll save that, go back, refresh. Now the background is black. So we've successfully implemented that, but let's also successfully implement uh, page specific scripts. So we can do section uh, scripts and we'll do uh, n section and this will be a, a script tag and in here we will do a simple console dot log uh, hello world awesome and let's go to after our partials underscore scripts and we'll do a yield here of scripts save it, refresh, and let's go to our console. And as you can see, hello world has been outputted there. So we've successfully implemented that as well. So uh, that'll be good for uh, later on. And we'll go ahead and call this a successful episode. Uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in. I don't know exactly what's going to be in the next episode, but I have great hopes that it will be absolutely wonderful. If you guys are finding this informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we come out with a new video every single day um, or, or close to it. And uh, we would love to hear from you as uh, you know, we're always trying to figure out what you guys want to learn. So this is uh, Web Dev Hacks signing off. Oh, 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 oh,